for a light, refreshing wine. Perfect for a hot summer stay. Come on down to Airfield Estates, located in Prosser. Why don't you live a little? I'm here with Rick Castaneda, writer-director of Cement Suitcase. Uh, to me, a uh, delightful, hilarious film, and uh, as absurd as it is, it gets better upon uh, multiple viewings. Oh, thank you. What would pair best with Cement Suitcase? What kind of wine? Ooh, um, I think it really depends. I think it goes with any kind of wine. It's, you know, the all-encompassing uh, wine movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I, I ask you this obviously because the, the lead character, yep. uh, Franklin, is the best wine salesman in the Yakima Valley. Yep. Uh, and he does seem convincing actually. There you go. I've been waiting all morning. Thank God you made it. Did you research that or are you an alcoholic? Uh, <laughs> well, I, uh, I wanted to learn more about wine <laughs> and I thought, what would uh, convince me other than writing a film and having to, to do this? And uh, it was kind of wonderful to, you know, when you have to do research about mm -hmm. something like that. And, you know, it required a lot of going to wineries and doing a lot of tastings and asking my friends a lot about wine. And it's really horrible. It's <laughs> tough to get through that. <laughs> tough research. Um, but yeah, we had a really great time. Dwayne, who plays Franklin in the movie, he's an improv actor. And so he, um, you know, all the stuff that happens in um, the winery when he actually is selling wine, I'd say 90% of that is just improv. Those are, you know, real people for the most part. They all came to be in a movie, but um, they're, they, they were given no lines whatsoever. Right. Um, they're all just giving real responses to his real prompts. I never would have suspected Wayne Bartholomew uh, in this role, but he's fantastic. He's lovable, he's great, he's, he's, he's different. Yeah. Uh, did you know him first and then write for him? I did, yeah. Um, we've been, I met him at USC in film school, and uh, we actually had a sketch comedy group together where we made about 30 short films. And uh, so I knew him really, really well. I knew going into my first film that I wanted someone that I could really trust and that I just knew would be amazing. And uh, I knew that he would be that guy. He's actually a comedian, um, you know, for the most part. and. This was his actual first dramatic role. So he was a little bit worried about being able to pull off the drama that happens in the movie. And um, I, had, I was never worried. I knew he would be great, both at the comedy and the drama.